Greetings, free thinkers. Welcome to the podcast. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing fine. I certainly am. Okay, what do we have for you on today's episode? I have for you one clip to watch, quite a long one, with my commentary, of course. It is the mugshot of Paul Pelosi. Um, the authorities in California, the uh, Socialist Republic, <laughs> uh, the Socialist Paradise of California, they, through a, a Freedom of Information request, finally gave the news outlets um, the mugshot of Paul Pelosi. They gave the only news outlet that's actually covering it the mugshot last, which is Fox, of course. The other ones have all got it, but they're ignoring it, of course, like they're ignoring the Kavanaugh situation, of course. Um, But they are dragging their heels over the body cam footage, um, the uh, drunk tank footage, and so on and so on. My guess is that they thought if we just throw them a bone, that'd be enough. Yeah. Um, of course, if you didn't know already, I should imagine you do. All charges were dropped, of course. You know, he's a Democrat. They get away with stuff like that. Um, if it was um, a member of the Trump family or even just somewhere on the periphery, they would be pillared from here to there and it, all points in between. So it's a Jesse Waters segment. There's a lot. Um, he covers and a lot I want to or at least some of it I want to respond to so we'll jump into it now if you haven't yet though please like the video subscribe to the podcast hit the notification bell and share the video around if you find the video informative have a membership uh, option you can join there's a join button next to the sub button I have eight amazing beautiful members who honor and humble me that they support the podcast in this quiet lip corner of the YouTube of the YouTube that we make our own, because we are shadow banned and deboosted because we are conservative commentators. Okay, let's go. Okay, so let's check this out. For the primetime team and for America, just moments ago, the Napa County DA was forced to release Paul Pelosi's mugshot from the night Nancy was out of town when he got popped for drunk driving. Today was the deadline for our FOIA request and voila, there it is. Pretty close to the sketch we commissioned Pretty close. Crooked politicians and political appointees. That could pass for me, actually. Appointees <laughs> in California. Pretty. I promise I wasn't in. Uh, I wasn't in California. Driving a car in the middle of the night at 82. This is the thing. He's 82 years old, right? Who was he in the car with? Why was he driving at that time of night, drunk out of his head? Um, and by, bearing in mind, they actually gave him five hours to sober up. Yeah, they breathalyzed him after five hours in the drunk tank, and he still failed. Because, I mean, how reckless can you be at 82 years old? Be close. Crooked politicians and political appointees in California spent more than two weeks trying to keep this photo from going public. Why? Was it really that bad? Pretty handsome for a drunk 82-year-old. Initially, Napa County claimed this would jeopardize the investigation did it this is the thing with with democrats slash leftists they always make vague statements that don't actually make sense and they do it they know why they do it because so long as there is a sizable proportion of proles out there sheep yeah gullible people who just accept the official answer they'll keep doing it right and that's why they go after, you know, it's how they, they silence the free thinkers. It's no coincidence, right? They need the gullible masses to be yes, sir, no, sir, three bags full, so just accept what they hear. The second you start thinking and you start asking why, how, when, where, you become a danger. Yeah, that, that to them, you become a danger when you start asking those questions, right? So think about it. Oh, we didn't release the mugshot because it would um, interfere with our investigation. How? What investigation? You dropped all the charges the second you found out it was Nancy Pelosi's husband. You dropped the charges. Right? If you're so worried about investigations, investigate these two for (coughs) corruption. Excuse me. Corruption and money laundering. Yeah? And insider trading. Right? If you want to investigate these Democrats, do do that. But you won't, of course. Jeopardize? Of course not. 
They were just trying to protect the most powerful Democrat in California, Nancy Pelosi. Yeah, and and she knows she's. Have, have you seen the way she acts? Remember the the um, the segment where a reporter asked about beefing up security at Justice's homes after the attempted um, offing of Kavanaugh, and did you see how she responded? It was like she was swatting a fly. She was like, "Oh, the the the." She thinks she's above you. She her arrogance shows. She's been in politics and the DC swamp for so long. Whatever was left of her humanity has disappeared. She's just swamp creature now. It's just full on um, arrogance, entitlement, um, corruption. That's all you get from the Pelosi's. Uh, they see themselves as kings and queens of California. Yeah, they see it as their fiefdom, and you're the serf. If you live in California, you're their serf. And the most powerful woman in America. Sorry, Kamala. It's worth noting they sent this to all the other media outlets before Fox, even though we were the only network that asked for it. And as far as I'm aware to date, the only one that's covered it. So they're bitter. Now, I know what you're thinking. This isn't about politics. This is about fairness. We just want to know what happened. And we're entitled to the same information they would release about any other DUI arrest. Especially if it was a member of the Trump family, friends, circle, yeah. Like someone who's not married to California royalty. The DA is still stonewalling, though, on the dash cam, the body cam, and the drunk tank cam. And I'll tell you why, because uh, it's just my opinion, Ryan. I think that he tried the do you know who I am routine. That's what I think. I think he tried doing that. I think he went down that route. But it would be interesting to find out who was he in the car with, where was he driving in the early hours of the morning, drunk out of his head, where did he come from, okay? And why, most importantly, were the charges dismissed? I mean, like a, an official answer. I mean, we know the real answer, because he has the right politics. I mean, it really is astounding that there's still people out there who can't see the disparity between the way conservatives are treated and the way leftists are treated it really is two different worlds it really is it's like if you're a leftist you have the right to do anything whenever you want to whoever you want look in Cal um sorry canada with the truckers the way that they were treated compared to the usual suspects you know what i'm talking about the largely peaceful brigade the fiery but mostly peaceful um type groups i'm sure you, you know who I'm i can't mention them well i could but i don't want to but you know who I'm talking about. The difference in in, in the way they were treated is, is um, palpable. But we're not going to give up. Because there are valid questions that have to be answered. For the American people, of course. Like, what was Pauly e. P doing out so late when Nancy was out of town? Was he alone in the car? What did he say to the cops when they arrived on the scene? Did he try to slip them a hundred? Was he able to walk in a straight line, touch his nose, hop on one leg? Did Bubba cut off? I bet any money they didn't say. It, it, well, it depend if they knew who he was or not. But if they knew who he was, I bet any money those officers didn't make him do that. Because it might, you know, they might, um, op optics. They were all, you know, he's one of the Pelosi's. You don't want to get him to hop on one foot or walk up and down in a straight line. Because he's seen as like above it. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's for... The Trump supporters. That's what we do. That's what we're supposed to do. They see it as an upsetting of the natural order. They see it a bit, a bit like earthquakes. Yeah, that they don't see their actions as um, having consequences based on their actions. They see it as like every now and again you just get a natural earthquake. You know, that's why they see it like a, a tsunami or a flood, yeah, or a fire, a largely peaceful fire up with them on the floor of the drunk tank while he was working off his hangover? We need to see all of it. Now, some of you might be thinking, come on, Waters, let it go already. You sound like Rachel Maddow. No, don't let it go. Don't let it go. You, you have to play the game that they're playing. You're going to have to. You're going to have to get your hands um, dirty uh, by, get, get, by not letting them get away with what they do, right? Um legal challenges 
um, keep up with the coverage because the, the the coverage I think is win winning people over. We already know that Fox News is um, in many ways the most popular uh, broadcaster, and that's a reason why even leftists go to Fox News, and there's a reason for that because they know. Even though they have left-wing Democrat tendencies, they know they're getting lied to by CNN. They do. They know that they do deep down. They know they're getting lied to, and and they resent it. They resent the fact that they're not being told the truth by the people that they go to, such as CNN, MSNBC, and that. They resent it. But being partisan hacks, they can't admit it. Uh, with Trump's tax returns, but we can't let this go, and here's why. You can never underestimate the power of liberal privilege. When Democrats do bad things, you only hear about it for a day. Then the machine kicks into high gear. The story goes down the memory hole. Nobody covers it, and there are no consequences. No accountability, as long as you voted for Joe Biden or any other Democrat. Think about it. Whatever happened to the subway city shooter who set off those smoke bombs and shot people up on a train? He was a Democrat. Explains why we don't hear much about him anymore. Or the black nationalist who mowed down a Christmas parade. They blamed it on the SUV, remember? And we never heard another word about it. This is, it goes back to what I said in one of the points I made at the beginning, which is, so long as there is a sizable group of people who will just accept what they get told, they will keep playing this game. The mainstream media and their allies in the Democrat, or I should say the Democrat Party and their allies in the mainstream media. So long as there is a group, a, a sizable group of proles, sheep, who will just, they they have the attention span of a gnat. And they know that. The mainstream media knows it. The Democrats certainly know it. So they bury stories, they drag up other stories, they keep certain things like this absurd 1-6 show trial, right? Because there's people who, who they live it, they live 1-6, right? They, they, they want that, it's everything that they were ever told about Trump, it was, it's everything that, that CNN ever warned these proles about Trump supporters, right? That's why they will never let that go. And that's why they bury all of this. This is happening in the same week as the attempted offing of, of Kavanaugh. But the same people who wax lyrical about insurrection this and, um, you, you know, the sanctity of democracy. It came in the same week. In the same week as the show trial. But it gets buried. Or the Louis Farrakhan follower who murdered a cop outside the Capitol. Nothing about him during the last week hearing on security at Capitol Hill. The same thing is happening right now with this nutcase who tried to kill Kavanaugh. Joe Biden hasn't even mentioned that story. No, and it's worse. How many Democrats have... Uh, it, they know that to pick it the homes of justices in an attempt to intimidate them, which is what they're doing. They've been throwing red paint, that, that group roof centers, they've been throwing red paint over people's doors, and the usual suspects have been spray painting people's houses, really intimidating their families, their neighbors. This is against the law. If that was sort of my yours house and there was a load of Trump supporters outside, what do you think would happen? People, and the, the, the only good thing to come from this, people are starting to see that. This disparity between the two, people are, are, are actually starting to see it now because it's so obvious. And that's the only good, good thing from this. But look at how many Democrat activists in, in politics, I mean, who, by their own words, you don't have to take me for it, look at Jen Psaki especially. Jen Psaki, in her own words, encouraged this. This led to the attempt on Kavanaugh. If that's not an impeachable, if that's not conspiracy to off someone, I don't know what it is. And you're lucky that I'm not the president of the United States because I would, I would bring charges against the Jen Psaki's of the world, the Bidens, the Pelosi's. Yeah, you have to have the strength to see through what you're saying. If you're gonna be a conservative leader, you need to lead, right? Stop worrying about what the left what the mainstream media are going to say about you yeah, well they call me this call me that they're going to call you that anyway right just have the fortitude to do what your supporters 
want you to do, which is to rebalance, rebalance society, because it's far too lopsided in the Democrats or the leftist favor. At all. The biggest story in the country for days, and the president of the United States says nothing because Schumer endorsed the guy. Of course he wants it to go away. The Democratic machine hates the truth. We believe the truth will set you free. And that's exactly why we won't give up until we see the rest of the video from that night so we can know what happened. That brings us to the DA, Allison Haley. She's still saying that releasing the dash camera video would compromise the investigation. When we asked why, she couldn't give us an answer. Right. If you didn't skip my monologue, one of the first um, comments that I made, this is what I mean. This is what I mean. I, if, I, if you have, I won't repeat myself. I'm just going to say that um, this is the, it gets to the crux of the difference between left and right. A right right wing person, if he's going to make an point and he's going to tell you something, he will give you a specific reason, a def definitive, definable reason why X is happening, why Y is happening. Democrats, leftists can't do that. So instead, they'll say, well, that will, con that will compromise the investigation. What investigation? You've already, you've already dropped the charges, right? But let's say, if you, let's say if you didn't drop them, you were still pursuing them, which you're not. Explain to us why it, it um, interferes with the investigation. Why would it interfere with this investigation but not all of the others, the countless hundreds of thousands of mugshots that have been released. Why just this one? They can't answer. Because it's their, their deflective answers, their non-answers, aren't meant for you and me. They're meant for the proles, the sheep. Okay? So long as they buy it, they don't care. Maybe she'll explain it to you. Because she doesn't want to deal with prime time. Here's the info from her website. And what about the California Highway Patrol? They've sent us several letters confirming these materials exist, and they have them in custody. But they're too chicken to release them? They're it's just that they're following orders, just following orders. You've seen it with all of these people before. When conservatives are being um, ruthlessly um, discriminated against and targeted you'll often see a very dour faced police officer or some position of lowly position of authority well you know i'm just doing my job i've got a, i've got a a pension to think about don't you think those look at the canadian truckers they had their bank accounts seized without a court order right don't you think they had pensions too right those, these just, I'm just following orders, just following orders. I, I don't know how they can sleep at night, I really can't, right? So you have these people at the bottom, and then you have the higher-ups in the California Highway Patrol. They are absolutely on their case, saying no, don't, co don't cooperate. Um, they behave like criminals themselves, I think. They're afraid of Ali, the DA, apparently. The head of the California Highway Patrol is Amanda Ray. Maybe she'll talk to you. Here's her contact information. Doesn't like to talk to us. She was appointed by Newsom, so we know who she's loyal to. Spe yeah, that's how it works. That's how it works. And, and as I said, conservatives, you need to start playing the game. Speaking of Newsom, where is he on all this? We've asked him twice for comment. His office never got back to us. So he's in on this cover up too. And this conspiracy runs far and wide. It's not just the politicians in the media. The charity, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, seem to be in on it too. They literally have one job, to stop drunk driving. And they usually don't get political. They actually condemned Obama's beer summit. Remember that? But when we called them expecting a statement, the moms ghosted us. No response. Because that um, ch charity, just like all the others, have been infected with woke leftism. Just like the FBI. When leftists get into a build a, a company or an organization, whether it's in the private sector or the public sector or the non-profit, 
they immediately set about purging all conservatives out of the um, company and the, or the organization and then they rebuild it to what they want it to be which is like a a recreation of their um university days like campus that's how they want their companies to be like a left-wing campus yeah so now this company here has sorry this charity here has a uh, stonewalled um fox for political reasons so they are essentially opposing their own goal due to politics partisan politics probably because they've been busy taking pictures with joe biden there you go they're probably in on the cover up too. Of course. <laughs> this is the highest profile drunk driving arrest since, I don't know when, I don't know. And we've contacted them a dozen times beginning last week and they don't seem to care. Pauly P, are you listening? If you wanna throw a few back and drive home, the mothers against drunk driving are apparently okay with it. Change my mind, Mad. And that's, that is the um, sickest part of it all because let's say for example, if he did it again tonight and was arrested again tonight we both know we all know that the charges would be dropped again i it's reached the point where i don't think there's anything a democrat politician could do that would land them in hot water nothing nothing they could just do what they want same with their protesters same with the people on the ground so long as you vote the right way you can do what you like the country's heading towards um, bad things. It's heading towards a banana republic. It's, it's becoming like Zimbabwe or Malawi. Um, and from there, it's, it's just all the way down. Uh, but look, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments section below. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.